What's better than having two spare magazines? Having six spare magazines. What's up guys, Run9mm here. Before we continue, we got this stuff for free so we could review it. Disclosure over. Today's show, we are looking at MCE Digital Armory's E-Amp Challenger Magazine Pouch for 9mm and 45 ACP 1911 magazines. Now, that's quite the mouthful. Recently, I've started shooting major power factor in USPSA's single stack and limited 10 divisions. And one of the restrictions on those divisions is you're limited to eight rounds per mag in single stack and 10 rounds per mag in limited 10. USPSA stages can have high round counts. A 32 round course is not uncommon. And I've actually shot 64 round count courses at level one matches. It's kind of a lot of fun, you should try it. Anyway, given that 10 round capacity, I'm gonna need a lot of magazines if I'm gonna be doing those kind of courses. I figure I wanna start off with six mags on my belt and one in the gun. In order to accommodate all those magazines, I'm gonna need a lot of magazine pouches. I'm used to mag pouches where the bullets are parallel to my body. This is referred to as bullets forward or bullets back. To hold six magazines, my current setup would result in some of the magazines practically in the small of my back, and that's simply not efficient or practical. I need something that packs a lot of magazines into a more compact space. Now you might hear about bullet orientation when you're on the range or when you're shopping for magazine pouches. Before we move forward, let's explain bullets forward, bullets back, and bullets out. Can we uh, bring in the expert, please? This is bullets forward. The magazine is placed in the pouch with the bullets facing forward. To remove the mag from the pouch, the wrist is rotated to put the back of the hand against the body. The hand slides between the body and the mag until the tip of the index finger is level with where the top bullet in the magazine is. Then the hand closes around the magazine and pulls the mag. The tip of the index finger rests against the tip of the bullet. The wrist rotates and the magazine is inserted into the pistol. This is bullet's back. The magazine is placed in the pouch with the bullets facing backward. To remove the mag from the pouch, the back of the hand faces away from the body, with the palm facing the outside of the magazine. The index finger rests against the side of the mag pouch, with the tip of the index finger level with where the top bullet in the magazine is. The hand then closes around the magazine, pulls the mag, the tip of the index finger rests on the side of the bullet, the wrist rotates, and the magazine is inserted into the pistol. This is bullets out. The magazine is placed in the pouch with the bullets perpendicular to the body, primers facing hips. To remove the mag from the pouch, the back of the hand faces away from the body, the palm facing the bullets, the index finger rests against the leading edge of the mag pouch, with the tip of the index finger level with the top bullet in the magazine. The hand then closes around the mag, pulls the mag, the tip of the index finger rests on the tip of the bullet like in bullets forward, the elbow bends, and the magazine is inserted into the pistol. Well that ought to do it. Thanks very much, Ron. So as I said earlier, this is MTE Digital Armory's E-Amp Challenger magazine pouch for 9mm and 45 ACP 1911 magazines. I'm gonna break that down for you. E-Amp is an acronym for Expandable Articulating Magazine Pouch. MCE makes over 50 models to accommodate most manufacturers' pistol magazines, and most are available in three styles, dubbed Enforcer, Challenger, and Patriot. Although they largely perform the same function, here's the differences. Enforcer offers more retention, Challenger offers faster access, and Patriot is more general purpose at a lower price. Because I need fast access, I've chosen the Challenger model. So let's have a look. It's like breakdancing, do the worm. All right, I'll calm down. These are a lot bigger than I'd envision them being. For about a year now, I've been using this Ruger 2245 system from MCE, which is considerably smaller. And for no good reason, I'd not anticipated how much larger the 1911 mag pouch system would be. It's apparent that these are 3D printed. These are, this is. It, it's one system comprising of six mag Pouches. So is that singular or plural? I don't know. Grammarians, help me out. Comment down below. Thank you. So anyway, as I was saying, these are 3D printed. Unlike what I'm going to refer to as the Ruger system, these are actually injection molded out of Zytel nylon. And I don't know if it's pronounced Zytel or Zytel. 
While I was researching this episode, I contacted MCE's David Barwin, and he explained that due to the fact that 22 caliber pistols are a really popular platform, and their Ruger system is compatible with many different magazines, there is a much bigger demand for this size of mag pouch, so the huge upfront cost of a mold was justifiable for these. So how does this work? Remember I said earlier that this is an expandable system? Well, it's also contractible. This is a set of six pouches, and they interlock with each other like parts of a hinge. So if I need, say, four for a match, then I can just take two pouches out from the middle by pulling this pin and this pin out, slot them together, and then push the pin back to join everything back together. The system comes with two daisy chain spacers to customize the gap between the pouches. As the system wraps around your hips, the pouches spread further apart. So there's more room between each pouch to get your hand down between it and pull the magazine. If you've got the pouches right by your hip bone, they're not going to splay out like that, but you can create a bit more space between the pouches by adding a spacer or two. Like before, just pull that pin where you want more space, add a spacer, connect it back together with a pin. Speaking of pins, there's a bunch of spare articulating hinge pins in the packet in case you break or lose one. Now, MCE's website does say that these are designed for magazines that are approximately 1.4 centimeters wide by 3.5 centimeters deep by 12 centimeters tall. Now that describes your typical 1911, either this eight round 45 magazine or this 10 round nine millimeter magazine. And I'll be using the system with a variety of magazines. I'm gonna be using it with 9mm McCormick and 9mm Cobra Mag, as well as Wilson Combat in 45. I also have these Chip McCormick Power 10s that I'm gonna be using it with for limited 10. And as you can see, they're considerably bigger. So we will see if that causes any problems when I go test these. Having said that, before we test these, we should get this over to the sexies. First thing I'm going to be looking at is ease of finding the magazine when you're reloading. I'm just wondering how much I'm going to be floundering around trying to find them. Just going to start off slow, see where everything is, build that muscle memory a little bit, index it, see how we can do. That felt pretty good, but this time I'm just going to do one shot with a reload in between each shot. To make life really nasty for myself, I've just got one round per magazine, so I'm going to be reloading from slide lock each time. Got a whole belt of six, see how that feels. When I first took this out of the packet, I had some concerns over the durability of a 3D printed item, but after some range time, I'm really not worried. From talking to MCE, I've formed the opinion that their guarantee is pretty reasonable. The enforcer and challenger systems are guaranteed not to break, split, or fail. If you break it, talk to them, send them a photo of the damage, and they'll work with you regarding replacement. Remember that foreshadowing earlier? I did manage to break a hinge pin by carelessly pushing it into place without looking. When I told David this, he said that's why we put twice as many in the packet. So it's kind of expected that you're going to break pins over time and you can always get more. It would be fair to say that Challenger and Enforcer are more ruggedly built than the Patriot systems, whereas the Patriot models simply offer a 14-day satisfaction guarantee. David's comment on this was that Enforcer and Challenger are designed to be rugged enough to not break in the line of duty or competition conditions such as me going prone or banging into an obstacle. Whereas Patriot is not, it's designed as a convenient place to keep your mags handy during a casual day shooting at the range or for steel challenge. I found the system really clever and pretty intuitive, but do take two minutes to read the instructions. There is some important information in there that you don't want to learn the hard way. 
like I did. I love the fact that each individual mag pouch is adjustable for mag retention. I like to be able to do a test where I do jumping jacks and not have any loaded magazines come flying out of my belt. At $95, my initial knee-jerk reaction that this is an expensive system, but if you think about it and break it down per mag retained, that's about $16 for mag pouch. For comparison, I have other mag pouches that come in at $25 per magazine retained. So 95 for six seems more reasonable now. According to David, the reason that these can be made right here in America, yet still be a reasonable price, is the fact that they're 3D printed. This also allows them to make a variety of mag pouches for the less popular magazines while still keeping the cost down. You can imagine the huge cost of making a mold for an obscure magazine. It's just not economically viable. I love the modularity of this system. I can choose how many pouches I'm gonna need for a match, set them up with the included spaces to give me some extra room between mag pouches where needed, and adjust each individual pouch's retention until my heart's content. Earlier on, I did mention the size of the system, but check this out. Up until now, I've been using these rather awesome leather mag pouches by Andrews Leather. With the leather mag pouches, I need about seven inches of belt space to hold four magazines, but with the EAM system, I can do the same number of mags in about five and a half inches. I think it's only fair to say that these are definitely substance over style, but the attention to detail in appearance is evident. Different textures are apparent to make the design as aesthetically pleasing as possible. It's one of the best 3D printed products I've seen. It may not look particularly cool, but providing it serves the attended purpose, I can live with that. I am definitely gonna be using this in competition. And in my new for 2021 rating system, one to five bullseyes, I'm gonna give this a solid four. I'm gonna be giving you a discount in a moment, so don't leave. But I wanna ask you, please, if this video has been helpful so far, give it a like, and more important, please subscribe. That way you don't miss any future episodes. I put them out as often as I can. You have no idea how much it helps me out. So here's that money saving I was telling you about. David at MCE was kind enough to make a coupon code for you guys. Simply enter coupon code RON9mm at checkout at mcedigitalarmory.com. You're gonna save 10% off their entire product range. This is for you, it's not for me. I don't get any benefit out of this. It's not an affiliate code, it's a coupon code. And I will put a link in the description down below. Seriously, for a moment, I wanna talk about the shirt I'm wearing. This is the Military Man shirt, which I bought from Swan Fox Optics. It's the first of their Hero Series shirts. Purchasing this shirt shows your support for both American Veterans and Mission 22. Mission 22 provides vital services to veterans with post-traumatic stress traumatic brain injury, substance abuse issues, and much more. I have active duty military friends, as well as some friends who are veterans, and some of them have shared the tip of the iceberg of what they went through and what they struggle with, so I really appreciate the work that Mission 22 does. When you buy a Swamp Fox Military Man tee, Swamp Fox Optics will donate $5 of every purchase to Mission 22. Even if you save 20% by using affiliate code RON9mm at checkout, Swamp Fox will still donate $5 from every purchase. That is awesome. This is the part of the show where I turn it over to you. Comment down below and let me know how many mag pouches you're carrying. Bullets forward, back, out, sideways, upside down. I wanna know, and why? Let me know, I'm interested in hearing that. We're gonna have a discussion. Before I go, I have a favor to ask. If this content is useful, or entertaining, or you like my accent, or if you're using any of the growing number of affiliate codes and coupon codes that I'm negotiating for you guys to save you money, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, it's the least you can do. Also, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and always remember, as a wise man once said, you cannot miss fast enough to win. Take care.